It's a red light. I ran through it. Yeah. Kill your little bro, record your scripts and dance to it. Yeah. I make innovative, cultivated, dread music. Yeah. I've been hella bent, I'm hella loose, let's get into it. It's a red light. I ran through it. And rush. The defensive end gets into the face of Annie Wilkins. And the third giveaway, a Sun Devil team with just two giveaways all season long. Handing the ball over to Stanford and the redshirt freshman doing his thing on the other end. Recruiting helped recruit a lot of the great Stanford players, including the guy who just whiffed on Wilkins, Gabe Reed, who comes back and gets a hit on. That one up into coverage, and it's intercepted by Adebo. He comes up with his first collegiate interception. Reed, another freshman, helped him out with some pressure. But it was just a matter of time for number 11 to come. Riddell again. That time they fly off the edge. There's one answer. Clock at three. Herbert fires. End zone. Incomplete again. One. And the reason it's one on one is because of the blitzes. They're trying to get after him. Remember we talked about affecting him? Noah Williams from the left almost gets to him. But that's a really good effort in coverage. We've seen Herbert make these throws all night. How about the length of a Debo? Get it from the pocket. Zipped again. The same matchup. He's looking overtime. Yeah, I, I talked about the last one was interference. See his head right away. See his head right away get turned. Now he has. He's in position to be able to fight the, the receiver for the ball. He has just an interception for a Debo on the season and a brilliant play from the Stanford corner. Four verticals. Chase Garbers reads it out. He's taking a shot to the right sideline and Paulson Adebo. This is bonkers if it's ruled a catch. Watch the right hand just snag it. What an amazing play. I mean, Adebo. Roxy, it's the big game for a reason because you got to make big plays in big moments, and that's exactly what this young corner did. Vic Wharton, Paulson Adebo. It's a well thrown ball. But he's just better coverage, better ball skills. Paulson Adebo, the former wide receiver, picks off his second miraculous interception of the day. Takes it down inside the five. And wow, Roxy, that's how you put an exclamation mark on an MVP caliber performance in the big game for a big time player. In Long throw, picked off by Adebo, and one of the nation's best. Not uncovering things like this. The issue has been double moves, but slants with his long arms and his ability to get his hands on receivers. Best cornerback in all of college football. It's, I mean, it's, there's no question about it. He has the size, he has the length, and look, he doesn't even look back at the quarterback. <laughs> hey, no sack situation here. You're near field goal range. DTR taking a shot, underthrown and intercepted. It is picked up by Paulson Adebo at the most crucial time for the Cardinal while UCL. Paulson Adebo for a short game. Uh, Paulson Adebo did a great job. He smelled that out right away. He saw two receivers coming into his area. Eason looks that way for Bryant. And he had it dislodged by Adebo. Fourth down. They go back to work the same way every week. What is it about about the way that you are demanding of yourself this level of play? I mean, if, if I want to be as good as I want to be, then that action, Tate rolling left. Fires and it's intercepted. Paulson Adebo steps in front with the pick. He's got eyes in the backfield. Watch him drive on this route. Then downhill after the slip. Seventh career interception for Adebo. Khalil Tate for the end zone. Paulson Adebo, did he get it? Did he pick it off? He did, the second interception for Adebo today. But in recent weeks, he's gotten back to being the guy that Cardinal Nation has expected him to be. Putting your hand in the cookie jar.